Well, four years ago, most Americans had never heard of West Nile virus, but awareness skyrocketed last year when the United States suffered the biggest reported outbreak of West Nile encephalitis in the world. Now, since it first appeared in New York in 1999, the exotic sounding disease has spread across the country, causing thousands of infections and hundreds of deaths. As our Amanda Fisher reports, what was once only bothersome has now become deadly. During the summer of 2002, a fatal enemy arrived on Oklahoma territory. A disease carried by mosquitoes is infecting the lives of humans with the West Nile virus, a virus that Dr. Christy Bradley says can attack anyone. We just really want people to be aware that there is a threat now with mosquitoes in Oklahoma, that we can't predict which persons will have the West Nile encephalitis that could be life-threatening or those that will have no symptoms. West Nile is a virus that affects the nervous system and can cause headaches, fever, tiredness, paralysis, and even death. Since the time that we've had West Nile virus in Oklahoma, we've had 122 confirmed cases in Oklahoma residents. Sadly, five of those have been fatal. But there's no need to panic over every itchy red bite. West Nile is carried mainly by the Culex mosquito, and it does not affect everyone in the same way. Children, for example, and healthy young adults very rarely have any symptoms if they're infected with West Nile virus. But older adults are very likely to have the more severe illness of West Nile encephalitis. So with still no human vaccine available for West Nile, how can we protect ourselves? For older adults, we want them to be applying the mosquito repellent, and then everybody should just be more cognizant of where mosquito habitats are in their yard and get out there and clean up the yard and repair those window and door screens to also protect the family against West Nile.